What's up guys? Welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we are continuing our Seven Deadly Sins. So we've got Greed. And I thought what better for Greed than the woman that goes and kills people so she can take over their businesses. And look, we're covered in gold coins. How convenient. Now for Greed, we've got Order. Because what's ours is ours. This makes it so when survivors interact with a chest or when they pick up an item within 64 meters of us, then we can see them. We can see their location. Now this does start the trial with two additional chests, but we've got the cut coin that will take out two chests, so it evens out. And we've got dragon's grip, because dragons are greedy, and we know this. So after we damage a gen, if someone touches it within the next 30 seconds, they scream, reveal their location, and get exposed for 60 seconds. That being said, it does have a cooldown of 80 seconds, so it's kind of high risk, high reward. For England's demise, when we hit someone, they drop their item, we get to have it, because we're greedy. Hex Thrill of the Hunt, this kind of just makes it so each dole and hex stone remaining on the map, we get a token. For each to token, we get 10% more blood points. That one's just because we get more blood points, because we're greedy. And then we've got an iridescent unpub uh, unpublished manuscript. When someone disables a drone, it gets a 32 meter terror radius on it. And then during that time, we get undetectable. And then servers that have a claw trap suffer from 20% smaller skill checks. Now, these are both comics, and comics, as everyone knows, are like high value items. They just keep becoming more and more, what is the word, valuable. <laughs> keep becoming more and more valuable. So that's why we got that. And yeah. I think it'll work out good. I haven't played Skull Merchant since they made some changes to her. I also don't know what the changes are. So there's that. But we'll see how this goes. If you guys have a build you think would work better, or you have a series you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. But let's hop on it. <sighs> okay. So we've been getting our butt kicked. And then we got in a match where three of the people just gave up as soon as they saw me. So then my MMR went right back up. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'm really doing poorly. Someone's over here. Ah. Awesome. Why are there pallets in the most fun places? Like, consistently. I've also... It's been like 40 seconds! <laughs> Slow the friend down! I'm like, I I think I'm gonna take a break from Dead by Daylight, because it's... After two hours of just playing Ring Around the Rosie, I'm really kind of over it. Like, believe it or not, I'm kind of over it, so I might take a much-deserved break. This is just not fun anymore. And it's probably me taking it too seriously trying to do these videos, but it's just not fun. It just really isn't fun. Like, we're maybe a couple minutes into the match, and they already have two gens done. Do I compete with that? Like, how the fuck do I compete with that? I just, I'm, I'm screwed, dude. Like, there's jack all that I can do. It's, it's not fun anymore. It's really not. Another power. Yay. No. Watch, he's going to be healed. No. Yep. There's just nothing I can do. I 
They're just, they're on them so fast. Is there another pallet right here? Rob's on the other side. Ooh, I'm surprised I got that one. And you've got Lithe Awesome. That's so fun. Another pallet. We just passed through like four pallets. Like, do you see how ridiculous it's kind of getting? It's just not, it's not fun anymore. The game, it's... Dude, I have three hooks. And they have three generators done. I need to get 12 hooks. At least the pallet's not here. That is, though. I just, I don't really want to play anymore. <laughs> I, I really don't. Really, really don't want to play anymore. I want to actually enjoy games I play. That just simply isn't happening anymore. You just keep looking backwards. That was working out really well for you. Oh yeah, you've got this one. Eat shit. And like, I, I, I don't know. I haven't played Skull Merchant since they made some changes to it. I don't know actually what the changes were. But it seems that my drones don't do anything anymore at all. So I don't love that. Really don't. Sable's gonna be healed, and there it is. Son of a bitch. Give me a second, dude. I wish you didn't have to sweat so hard as killer. Like a survivor, you can kinda dick around most of the match. Still probably get out. But as killer, unless you're just constantly on someone 24-7. I'm not chasing you. Unless you're just constantly on someone 24-7, you're just kind of screwed. Like, there's nothing you can do. Like, look. Both of them are right here, but it's not going to matter. They'll just do that. They, they've got health states that they can bear. Yeah, and that bullshit. So then they just pretty much just get a free hit. Or a, a hit that doesn't do anything. just I don't know it's not very fun anymore I'm tired of having to sweat I'm tired of getting so mad at this game and like I know I, I know it's just a game I, I do understand that but I shouldn't have to lose every single match like just get completely obliterated unless I play super sweaty And it's just, the game shouldn't be like that. It's not enjoyable. 
I don't know. Those are just my two cents on the matter. I know I just kind of sound like a sad sap, but... It is the truth of the matter. And Meg's healed. Where is Meg? Don't know. Because the claw trap doesn't do anything. Then we can just play Ring Around the Rosie around this window forever. Oh, well, she didn't. All right, cool. Props for that. I mean, they're not playing very smart right now, so maybe, maybe we can do this. I highly doubt it still. I don't even think I've hooked one of them. Yeah, one of them hasn't even been hooked. I do want to get rid of the spoon, though. No thanks. Okay. Never mind. Oh, hell yes. Maybe, maybe, maybe. She still gets her off. She doesn't get her off. Oh, baby. How are you, Meg? We can head her off. Hey, Meg. Ah, that's unfortunate. Nope, you're not going to get it in time. Oh, I thought she was going in for the heal. Awkward. Hey, you don't have a pallet anymore. You used them all. Okay. I don't know where Sable went. <laughs> she could be on like the other side of the map by now. Probably has adrenaline. I don't really want to risk that, so there you are. Oh, they both had two left. Well, that's convenient. Just gotta find you again. Hey, Meg, how's it going? Okay, well, that was way too close, but we finally did it. I don't have any hooks. Okay. Really glad she's not struggling. Sorry that this was kind of a sad sap episode, but I guess that's what happens when you try to do a single video for like two, two hours and 45 minutes. It, it just, the game doesn't get very fun at that point. But I can see why not very many people play Skull Merchant. She's not very viable anymore. Um, I, I like playing her because I liked having the surveillance. That's also why I like playing Pig and mostly Pigsburg surveillance. But they just don't really have that. Which makes you very much an M1 killer, which is just very hard. It's very difficult to do. Alright, well that was our greed build. Um, didn't super get to show off the build. In some of the matches, there were parts that did show off. Oh, that was my last of each of these. Um, some of the matches, there were some that did show a little bit. Franklin's Demise really showed. And Hoarder, I guess, was very effective in that one. So, fair enough. If you guys have a build you think would work better for greed let me know let me know your thoughts as well as to the state of dead by daylight and 
if maybe I should take a break from doing Dead by Daylight videos. Because I try not to take them so seriously, but I also got to record them. Uh, and it just... Do it for long enough. It just becomes very not fun. Like, you just kind of get screwed by the same trick over and over. Uh, but there's not really a great workaround to that. But let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, stay spooky. Toodles! Toodles!